Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be installing vinyl railings on my neighbor's porch. I normally don't like to do work for people anymore, but they need some railings before winter comes, so I have the opportunity to do this job for them. So the first thing, I want to explain these posts to you. The post actually comes in four sections. You got your cap right here. You have an inner liner in here. This is the top of the inner liner. Take that off. There you see your post, okay? There's an inner liner inside of there. See that inner liner? That slides in there too. It makes this very sturdy. And then you have your base right here. Pretty fancy. And then on the bottom of your post, you can see your four holes. So we're going to use a 3 8 concrete drill for that. And then I am going to put these right here, 3 8 redhead anchors in. There's all kinds of different anchors you can put in, but I prefer these. This is what they look like. You drill a hole, pop them in there. Okay, and I'm going to show you some other pieces here. Just hold on one minute and I'll get them set up. Here's your next section. It's the stair rail bracket kit. This is for your stairs going down. Now I have the stairs, they're in the back of my truck. You'll see them later. I'm not gonna pull them out for this. And here's your level rail bracket kit. It all looks pretty simple. I'm figuring this job's gonna take me eight hours. We'll find out. Here's the drills that I use, 3 8 If you have some laying in your toolbox, you know what, just buy some new ones because they're probably dull. Try to keep the job simple. All right, see you on the job site. So one of the problems I have with this porch is putting the post up because you can see here there's a window in the way. So I can't just mount it to the wall of the house like I was going to do over there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a post here. It's going to stick up in the window, but that's the only way I can see to do it. And I'm going to put another post over there for the aesthetics of it all. So I know it looks like a lot of posts, but for a small porch, this is the only way we can do it. So this is the basic layout of it. So I'm going to find out, kind of like reverse engineering, where our posts are going to go, where I'm going to put these steel rods and everything. Okay, what I did, if you look down in there, you can see the marked holes down in there. So we're going to drill it with the 3 8 hammer drill. It's good to get a hammer. If you don't have a hammer drill, you better get yourself one. Otherwise, you're going to have a hell of a time. All right, here we go, right on the mark. pounded these in when you pound them in make sure you leave that nut on there so you don't mushroom the threads over it's best to do two holes first and your other two holes are here but make sure your post is going to fit on there just like that and then look down at your marked holes and make sure that they line up right i'm going to go ahead and install the other ones drill the holes and then we'll come back we might have to level this out a bit all right go i got the nut on you can see it's about even with the top of the bolt pound it down in there I'll leave it stick up about three quarters of an inch. You can always pound it down further once you put your post on. Another thing I would tell you is leave your bolts on. You're going to fit it, but you might have to pop them sideways a little bit. And by leaving the bolt on, you can adjust them a little bit. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay. So you see how it kind of fits off to the side a little bit? By leaving that nut on, I can pound that over a little bit. Just like this. Now I'm going to keep pounding. See that one's even. Now I'm going to pound this one over a little bit more. And I'm going to get that one even. There you go. They're all poking in there now. I'm going to bolt it all down. I'll show you how to level it out. And then we'll go from there until I got the tops of them even, maybe a little bit further down because I don't want to screw the threads up. I'm going to pound them down until it's down all the way. And 
you don't want these sticking up too far. That's why I'm pounding them down all the way. If they come up further, your jacket's not going to fit all the way flush. So I'm going to tighten them down. Might have to use this shim to level it out back and forth a little bit, and then we'll be done with that one. All right. All right, there's your shims in there. We now have it leveled up and everything. We got a jacket that's going to go over it. Uh, I'll show you that right here. This slides over just like that. And then you have your post here, which is going to slide over that. And my buddy Mitch is going to do that right now. And then you have another sleeve that goes in the top. Hold on, that we are. That goes on there, and there's another black sleeve that slides on over the pull on top, which is going to hold it nice and tight for you. Basically, we got that one done now, and we got that one done. We've been working about one hour. Alrighty. Job's coming along good. Mitch adjusting them, like I said earlier in the video. It's looking good. Okay, now we're cutting the rails. When you cut your rails, you want to make sure your distance from here to here is the same on the other side. So everything looks equally spaced, such as that over there. Now we're going to be putting the brackets on. All right, what we're going to do now is we're going to take this steel bracket. We just slide it up underneath there. And then we're going to take these white screws that are provided with it. And simply drill them into there. And that's all you got to do. When we're done, we're going to drill up through the bottom where there's some holes to help support it a little better. Okay, now these little brackets that slide on the bottom also have screw holes in them. Mitch is going to slide them on there. Once he slides them on, we're going to put screws that way into the aluminum post. Alright, working on the stair brackets now. See Mitch is putting the post on. Screwed them all down tight. And next up, we're going to be figuring out the angle and everything that come with the stair kit. Okay, we've got our posts mounted to the ground. Now we're figuring out our rail angles. We clamped them up with some quick clamps. As you can see, we made sure our rails here are level. Then for the miter, simply marked with pencil here. And then I've marked with pencil here, right where our bracket that's going to hold it is going. Now we're going to go cut our miters and start installing. All right, these brackets here are much simpler than the railing brackets. They simply slide on, and you see the screw holes right here? We're just going to slide them up there. Self-tapping screws will hold them right into there. So this project's coming along good. We're going to do this one, and then the last one here. They give you this handy-dandy PVC cement with each cap. One tube will actually do about three caps. Just squeeze it on there, all the way around, like so. Pop it on. Just like that. Now you can see, that's how you do a vinyl railing, which I haven't done that many, but still, we get the job done, guys. All right. All right, guys, that's what I did with my day. It is about 2.30, so we kicked some ass, started at 8, got it all done. Looks good, customer's happy. All right, I'm going to go have a beer. Adios, guys.